a bit to live for us. The boxers are the guys from the bottom of their life and the rise exactly from almost homeless lifestyle. And if boxing wasn't in his life, they would be imprisoned or murdered by of straight gangs. Mike Tyson was born in Brownsville, New York, a criminal district. When he was 13, he was imprisoned. But when he was released and he was placed in the force of family to cast a motto, who became his coach and he not only made a boxer for him, he replaced him a father, Muhammad Ali, who was born as Cassius Clay. He was an Afro-American from a middle class, but when he was young, the racism was legal. Ali wasn't allowed in white shops. Floyd Mayweather is from Grand Rapids, also a poor town. His father sold drugs and thought that this is normal because he feeds his family. Edson Miranda laid on the streets until one day he slept under the bridge and he had a dream that he became a boxer. He started to bring all change which he could take from one day job of being a blood donor to the gym. And finally, he became a boxing superstar. The boxing wasn't for rich kids, but who was there wasn't respected. And today's vloggers, a lot of boxing fans, don't respect as well. Jake Paul is a superstar from YouTube. He became a professional boxer like his brother. He has four wins and no losses. But his fight sells pay-per-views that like he is a super professional and undisputed champion. Not worse than a real champ. Jake Paul offered Colin McGregor from a UFC $15 million guaranteed for a fight and of course a percent for pay-per-view. The most interesting thing is when Conor McGregor became a double champion in the UFC, almost the highest pay-per-view bout in boxing history, the fighter from MMA against the boxer Conor McGregor vs Floyd Mayweather. The sales are a little bit smaller than a fight, Mayweather vs Pacquiao. Conor McGregor had a lot of disrespect in the boxing world, he was an upstart who switched to the boxing, a freak match and he will not stand around against Floyd. That's how critics thought. Despite this fight was ended in the 10th round. And that wasn't a one-sided bitting. Even Mike Tyson was surprised that Conor McGregor fought against the best fighter in the modern boxing. And that fight was finished only in the 10th round. Conor McGregor received $100 million for that fight what he never earned in the UFC. Everything was started from Logan Paul, one of the most popular YouTubers in the world. Today, he has more than 23 million subscribers. His videos are so popular that so Floyd Mayweather decided to face him on the boxing ring at an exhibition fight. But that will be in 2021. But in 2018, Jake Paul decided to share the ring with another one YouTuber from England, KSI, and right after the conflict, which were a part of promoting for their further fight, they finally faced in the boxing ring. Their first fight was an amateur. They fought in helmets, like Olympic boxers, but their rematch was a real professional bout. It means a fight with a license, and it goes in their pro records. In that time, the boxing community started to criticize this event because two YouTubers who went from the internet made a full crowd Manchester Arena and a full star center and Floyd Mayweather with a record of 15 wins made an exhibition fight with Jake Paul. The dream of all boxers because Floyd's nickname is Money. All criticism was that YouTubers can't perform at the same level at the same time where almost all boxers came from the hungry streets, and the capacity of the ground remained the same. Logan's junior brother entered the ring as well. His first fight was against AJ, also a YouTuber, the junior brother of KSI. They were at the same event. Here Jake Paul defeated DJ in the fifth round, but were the first and only one amateur fight of Jake Paul's career. In 2020, 
Jake Paul decided to turn himself to professional. His first professional fight was in cruiserweight. Cruiserweight is the most known money category in the boxing, though for not interesting. It wasn't so popular that promoters decided to launch the World Boxing Super Series and a debut season was to make the attempt to bring their attention to the cruiserweight. They took top fighters from that category, the winner of the season would receive a huge check and a trophy of Muhammad Ali. And despite Alexander Usyk won the Grand Prix, he finally switched to the heavyweight and the fighters like Myris Briedis is a current champion of IBF and the ring dreams to fight with a YouTuber. That's how popular became Jake Paul. His debut fight was against Nansen Gibb, Ali Al Fahri, also a YouTuber turns boxer, and now he competes as professional as well. The training camp and the promotion for that fight were exactly like it was a professional fight for a typical boxer. Press conferences, organization of the event, previews, weight ins, and of course a topping control and of course an athletic commission. And their training camps were not worse than a typical camp or a professional fighter. If you don't know that they are YouTubers, you will never say that they are not professional boxers. And that fight was promoted by the zone. A six round fight, Gabe started to rush forward at the same time when Jake Paul started to clinch him down. It technically knocked out Ali in the very first round. A debut fight was so loud that when Dunder White started to talk about him, that he's a multimedia blogger, he's even not a professional, and all these disowns and thrillers are clowns, and they will never reach UFC. In 2019, some rumors circulated about Mike Tyson's returning. A lot of videos where Mike Tyson is training being 15 years old, but he is in a great shape, and he is ready to back in the ring for the exhibition fight, of course. The same what is doing Floyd Mayweather. After his last fight, he had an exhibition against Teixeira Natsukawa, who was an undefeated in MMA and kickboxing. He called it a 9 minute walk for a 9 million check. Later, he fought with Logan Paul, and now he is going to face Don Moore in Abu Dhabi. Mike Tyson decided to fight against Roy Jones. Jones finished his career in 2008. 66 wins and 9 losses. That fight was rescheduled because of pandemic. And finally it happened, 28th of April 2020. Under the thriller, the main fight of the evening, Mike Tyson vs Roy Jones. The thriller in the new boxing or round boxing promotion. A lot of fighters are calling this pop boxing or freak boxing. Dana White hates this channel so much with his competitors however he wants. He goes mad when Trilla declares when they pay their fighters 50% of all earnings at the same time when the UFC does less than 10. That's why Jake Paul started the skirmish with Dana White and even relayed the music video about UFC. The main reason of that skirmish is if the boxer is not so media active and he's not a champion, of course, he earns at least a million for a fight. Like Tyron Woodley or Ben Askren, UFC's fighters, even champions like Israel Desanya, their payment is 30 key per fight. It would Conor McGregor, who is the most popular MMA fighter in the world, earns 2 or 3 millions per fight. John Jones, who was a pound for pound, who is an undefeated, who we are not talking about the fight when he was disqualified, he had less when the fighter from the prelims in boxing. That's why he vacated the title and wanted to quit UFC. And Francis Ngannou, who unified the titles in a fight against Cyril Gunn, wants to quit and switch to the boxing. They call a small payments. Donald White calls Thriller the Dumb with their tried combat, a specific event of the triangle with the boxers. 
versus MMA fighters. A boxing event with a clinching, Jorge Masvidal wanted to quit UFC to fight in the triangle, but Mike Perry finished the contract and all the fought inside the triangle and told he earned more than in UFC for all time. This company is so greedy, so they are blocking the channels who are making the videos about UFC because of using the fragments of their fights not breaking the rules about fair use. That's why we closed an MMA channel. Triller started to make the event which watched more than the fights from Apex Arena, which looks like a strip club with a small cage like original promotions in the pubs with a terrible fight night. Triller does it much more professionally. The returns Mike Tyson and Roy Jones, and in that card, in the co-main event, where the fight Jake Paul vs. a former basketball player, Nate Robinson. A professional fight means goes to the fighter's record. He knocked out Robinson after several knockdowns. Boxing community started to talk about Jake's hype train for nothing. He's boxing against the fighters who came in the gym just yesterday, and then Jake Paul called out Conor McGregor and offered him $15 million guaranteed. The same thing he offered to Dylan Darnis, an MMA fighter from Bellator and McGregor's sparring partner, and also it was a bite of Dana White. Because he trained together with Jorge Masvidal, and also he called to give the main event to Amanda Nunes, Van Askren, also a former UFC fighter who was hated by Dana White, accepted that call, but the fighters started to promote their event, and Dana White started to support Askren, and his band will show Jake Paul, who's a real fighter. At the same time, Jake Paul just told that he will receive a good payment for the first time being a fighter. Because in Ben became a champion of Bellator, Dana White even didn't want to sign up him when his contract was ended. Ben became a champion of 1FC and only after that they made an exchange. Mighty Mouse, a champion from Flyweight to Ben Askren from 1FC. And only when Askren was released from the UFC's contract, Dana White started to talk about the punishing of Jake Paul forgetting about that Ben Askren is a pure wrestler, a punchless fighter. That fight was set for April 17. Also, Thriller Fight Club. The miracle wasn't happened. Right for the first second, Jay started to attack Askren's body. It was obvious that Askren didn't improve his stance, and he started to clinch Paul and bitterly for him. But right after the fight Tyson vs. Jones, Triller decided to break the clinch immediately, because almost O fight was in the clinch. Therefore not interesting. The last hope was fallen and Askren was knocked out in the very first round. Despite he was glad with his payments, he decided to finish a career because of age. But another one former UFC fighter, who was a champion in welterweight, decided to test Jake Paul's skills. Dyron Woodley. Dyron Woodley was a champion of welterweight in UFC and also in Strike Force. He was also criticized by Dana White because of safe style of fighting. He didn't want to finish his opponent, which is a curve for wrestling. A wrestler with a no hand, it became old and he was thrown under the iron torps of the welterweight. A current champion, Kamaru Usman, an interim champion, Colby Coynton, and two high class fighters, Gilbert Burns and the Santa Luca. It was fights in the age of 39. A lot of people forgetting about the opposition of the pro boxers. Right after their fight against Tyron Woodley, his next opponent, auditioned worst Tyron Fury, a Tyson Fury brother, is an undefeated perspective boxer. Seven wins and no losses, and a junior brother Fury, of course. Tyson told that if you lose, you'll change your last name to Paul at least for a month. But who he fought against? Just have a look at these records. Read his losses. The fighter with the 102 losses. The second one who lost 26 times. 
The same with a fighter who had two wings, an ETC, Floyd Mayweather, and all with the same backs. A lot of fighters have the same record, they're gaining some experience. The same like Sean O'Malley, it's code for the leads by the hand by feeding non-top fighters diet. And Donna White, talk that Sean is not ready for the top 15. Jake Paul, challenge Tyron Woodley. It will lose, it will make 82. I love Jake Paul. The same thing Jake Paul will do if he will lose. And you can't erase that at least a year. A lot of words from Tyron Woodley. And he will punish Jake. Our UFC believed him. Our fans talked about the punishment and a champions level fighter. They met 21st of August 2021. And for that time, the event hosted Showtime. Jake Paul started to rush forward and took three rounds. But in the fourth, Tyron Woodley started to answer by loading every single punch. Jake Paul, who was almost a step from finishing, Phil Rogers gave all further rounds to Woodley, but the felling continued. Jake made a comeback in the sixth round. Jake Paul won that eight round fight by split decision. Woodley made it a two, and Showtime started to promote the fight Paul against Fury. I looked, Tyron Woodley gave him the hardest fight, and he was robbed. He won that fight, Tommy will knock him out. That's what the critics thought. Unfortunately, Tommy Fury withdraw from that fight because of injury. On two weeks' notice, Tyron Woodley replaced him. Jake Paul knocked out Woodley in the sixth round. But the fans started to laugh that this fight gained only 65 key pay-per-views. Because of replacement, of course. Every single fighter wants to fight for Jake Paul. That he is not a real boxer, but he is the money's boxer in the cruiserweight. And also, it made a lot of noise being a YouTuber turned boxer.